Robinson is the first of his race to be honored with admission to the shrine of the national game. His sure fielding helped carry Brooklyn to six World Series with the Yankees. Jackie won the National League batting crown in 1949. In his prime, he was the game's most feared base runner. In the storied history of UCLA athletics, no name carries more weight than that of Jackie Robinson. Played four sports here at UCLA. Probably was the best athlete here at UCLA during that time period for like a long period of time. Jackie Robinson is definitely an iconic figure in what he's done uh, in America as a, obviously a professional athlete and in his personal life. In 2014, UCLA once again honored Jackie Robinson's everlasting impact on American society. UCLA Athletic Director Dan Guerrero announcing this week that number 42 will no longer be issued in any sport in honor of Jackie Robinson. But before the number is retired for good, it's enjoying one last trip onto the field on the back of junior linebacker Kenny Young. Pressured, heaves it, and it's intercepted by UCLA. Kenny Young takes it in. Coach Morris was like, hey, you know, uh, we're retiring 42, so I was like, does that mean I, I can't wear it anymore? And he was like, nah, you're the last athlete to wear the number ever. The number 42 here at UCLA definitely takes a special uh, individual, you know, to represent that number, and it means a lot to, to this institution. The number is always in my mind. I always touch the number before a practice or a game to remind myself of why I do the things I do it for, and 42 is one of the main reasons why I do it. So I think Kenny's done a fantastic job. He has a maturity about him, an awareness about him, uh, to where he understands, you know, what comes with uh, putting those four letters across your chest and also that number on your back. It's not about me, it's about the person that, that keeps the tradition going, going on and on. And for you to put the, the, the jersey in a legacy in a better place than you found it.